Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about the block structure which we have in the Ethereum blockchain. So if you are new to this Ethereum or the blockchain, so you might be wondering that how the information is being stored in a blockchain. So blockchain is nothing, this is a chain of blocks where every block will contain the transaction details like what all transaction happened during that time and uh, every uh, blockchain platform like bitcoin and ethereum has their own uh, structure so but at generic level every blockchain will have a block header and the transaction details so that is what we will talk about in this session and we'll talk about mainly on the ethereum and because in the last video we already covered about the bitcoin st block structure so in case you are not aware about Bitcoin block structure so I would recommend you to go through my previous video and I will share you the link also in this video down below where you can just go and check from your side so let's get started with this uh, uh, video and this session we will talk about the block structure so very important point before you jump to this one uh, uh, you may ask that okay uh, before I move to block structure do I need to know something else so the question, uh, so the answer to that question is yes, you need to be aware about Merkle tree and Patricia tree and the combination of that which is known as Merkle Patricia tree. Because whatever information is being stored in the Ethereum blockchain that is being stored in form of Merkle Patricia tree. So before you really jump to the blockchain and this block structure in the Ethereum blockchain, I would recommend you to go through that sessions and what we have done so in this blog I will share you this blog post link as well in this video description so in this blog you will get the link for all three posts where we have explained about Merkle tree Patricia tree and the combination of both which is being used right now in the Ethereum blockchain so that you should understand before you jump to this session because in this session we will talk about this tree and because uh, this in this block the information is being stored in form of tree only so uh, please go over this uh, three sessions before you jump to this one now I assume that you already gone through this session and you are well aware now about the tree structure why we have a Merkle tree in a blockchain why we have a Patricia tree and why we have a combination of these two tree in an Ethereum blockchain so now let's move to the blockchain uh, block structure here so at very high level when we talk about the block block will have two elements basically it will have two parts one is a block header one is the transactions every block in a blockchain will have a block header and multiple transactions so this we already covered in a bitcoin blockchain but now this is specific to ethereum so let's try to understand that what what kind of information we have in a block header for the ethereum blockchain so we have drawn one picture just to explain that what all elements we have at very high level in this ethereum blockchain so as you can see here in the block header so we have a few elements like previous block hash transaction root hash receipt root hash then state root hash timestamp difficulty nonce gas limit gas use extra data and number so we will explain ab about these things one by one in the detail in this video so the very first uh, item which we have is a previous block hash so as I just mentioned before blockchain is nothing is a combination of different blocks which are chained together now every block in a blockchain will have a reference of previous block so that is how we say blockchain is immutable that no one will be able to change any kind of information in a blockchain so because a block will have a reference of previous block hash in the current block with the exception of genesis block because genesis block is your very first block in a blockchain so that will not have any reference but after genesis block each and every block will have a reference of previous block that is the very first element then there are three elements which we have note down transaction received and state root hash so in the Bitcoin if you remember we have mentioned about only Merkle root hash that is a transaction root hash but here we have two extra uh, trees which we maintain in Ethereum which is received and state so let's try to understand about these three the very first one is transaction root hash so that is very simple whatever transaction is happening in that block that will get stored in form of tree 
and whatever root hash we have for the tree it is being stored here in the transaction root hash the another one is the receipt whatever transactions we do in ethereum every transaction will have a receipt so suppose you have sent some money from your account to your friend account so that is one transaction for that transaction you will also have a receipt okay that is a money has been transferred and this is a receipt for that one so in the ethereum we also uh, store that receipt in form of tree and that will give you a, a root hash and that will store in a block header and third one is a state root hash which is very important as we already discussed in the last uh, video which is merkle root hash so we have mentioned that uh, state it is a key value pair in ethereum like when we say state value here state it is like account address every account will have a address and for each and every account you will have a balance and other properties so that is being stored in a state tree and every state tree will have a root hash so that root hash is being stored in a block header so instead of having only one tree in a block uh, in ethereum in ethereum we have three block uh, three trees basically in bitcoin we have one in ethereum we have three which is transactions received and the state then the next one is timestamp this is the current timestamp which you will have in a block header and then difficulty so difficulty is linked with your mining whenever a miner mine the transactions okay so every blockchain will have some sort of uh, standard set like in a bitcoin you generally mine uh, a block is get mined in 10 minutes but it is much faster in case of ethereum so difficulty is being uh, set uh, for miners if you have higher difficulty for a block it will take more time to get that mined so so suppose right now you notice that the blocks are getting mined very easily so in that case so uh, ethereum blockchain will increase the difficulty level so that blocks get mined in a required time frame not very easily or, or, or okay or in the another scenario if uh, mining is taking more time so then this uh, this level of difficulty can be reduced so that uh, block can mine very fast that is the difficulty level and third one, and the next one is nonce so this is again a, any integer value that will be again linked to your mining so this is a random number which miners use to uh, solve one mathematical puzzle so if i give you mathematical puzzle that okay i have to generate a hash which has 90 in the starting so you will try different combination by having different value for nonces like 1 to something 1 to 3 so that you will get a value which will have starting nine zeros so this is this can keep on changing for each block and that is used by total uh, by the miners mainly then we have gas limit so gas limit is uh, the limit set for this block uh, for the gas so as you already know when we talk about ethereum whenever do we do any state change in ethereum we have to pay some gas so gas is paid in term of v which is wei which is a smaller uh, portion of the ethers so this gas limit is nothing the gas uh, total gas for this block which is set then gas used uh, as i just mentioned that in a one block you can have multiple transactions so this is the sum of all the gas which is used by all the transactions so suppose you have five transaction in one block so this gas used will be sum of all the five transaction gas which they have used okay and then there is extra data that is uh, something extra information which we have in this field related to this block and then last we have a number so number is a block number so the very first block in a ethereum blockchain which is genesis block will have a number 0 then next block will have number 1 2 3 and 4 so this is what a number shows here in the block header so this is what we have uh, in the ethereum block structure so this is how at very high level so we do have some extra information also but this is at high level which you need to know for now this is all the information which we store in a ethereum block header so then there is a live example if you could just go to eth uh, etherscan uh, url you will get the blog information here you can see the uh, block height timestamp transactions you can see here this block will contain 131 transactions so this is the hash of the block 
previous hash block this is mined by this uh, account this user and so on this is all the value which you can see live values in the ether scan for the ethereum so this is at very high level uh, i am hopeful that you like this video and you get some idea about the block structure in the ethereum thanks for watching <music>